Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignante de la langue française et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre les verbes pronominaux. Before we begin with this video, I would like to introduce you to my website www.learnfrenchbysuchita.com where you will find recorded courses for all your French language needs. We have courses for DELF A1, DELF A2, DELF B1, TEF TCF recorded course, French phonetics as well. We have special courses for our school students ranging from grade 5 to grade 8. We also have courses for university students who are enrolled in certificate course or diploma course in Delhi University. And finally, we also have courses for our school students who are aiming to appear for their Delft Prem or Delft Junior examinations. So hurry up and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. And in this video, we are going to learn the pronominal verbs. And in French, we call them les verbes pronominaux. I've divided this video into two parts. So in the first part, we are going to learn what are pronominal verbs and what is their conjugation. And in the next part, we are going to learn what is their usage and how they are different from the normal verbs. So the first question is that what are pronominal verbs and how do you identify them? Alors, les verbes qui commencent par ce ou s apostrophe sont les verbes pronominaux. What does that mean? The verbs which begin with ce or s apostrophe, they are the pronominal verbs. You must have encountered a lot of verbs which begin with so. Here are a few examples. However, there are a lot of other verbs which are pronominal verbs. So the verbs which begin with so, they are the pronominal verbs. Par exemple, se coucher. Se coucher, which means to lie down. Se réveiller, to wake up. Se lever. Lever, which means to get up. Se laver. Alors là, il y a une différence. Se lever et se laver. Se laver is to wash oneself. Se doucher. Se doucher, which means to take a shower. Next. S'appeler. S'appeler, which means to call oneself. Se reposer, which means to take a rest. Se brosser, which means to brush. Maybe to brush your hair or maybe to brush your teeth. It can be anything. Okay, so these are few examples. I'll just repeat for you. Se coucher, se réveiller, se lever, se laver, se doucher, s'appeler, se reposer, et voilà, se Brosser. There are a lot of other pronominal verbs like for example, se maquiller which means to do makeup, s'asseoir which means to sit down, se taire which means to be quiet. Okay, now you must be thinking that what are pronominal verbs and how they are different from the normal verbs. See, pronominal verbs are no special verbs. I would not say that pronominal verbs cannot exist as standalone verbs. Se coucher can exist as the verb coucher also. Se réveiller can exist as the verb réveiller also. But that we are going to learn in the next video, in the second part of the video, that how they are different from the normal verbs. But for now, we'll learn how do you conjugate the pronominal verbs. Okay, now we'll learn how do you conjugate the pronominal verbs. So the first verb that I've written is se coucher. Now, se coucher which means to lie down. Now, what we are going to learn is the conjugation of the pronominal verbs in the present tense. Okay, so this is present tense. Again, like you always do, you always divide your table into two parts, singulier et pluriel. Then you will write all your subjects. Je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous. Il pluriel et elle pluriel. By the way, if you do not know what are subject pronouns, I'm dropping the link in the card above. Just watch that video first and then come back here again. All right. So these are all the subjects that you need to write. Je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il pluriel et elle pluriel. Now, you must have realized one thing that Whatever examples that I gave you for the pronominal verbs, they were all ER verbs. And generally, you will, also, you, will, you will see that 
the pronominal verbs are generally the er verbs i am not saying always but generally they are er verbs so first you should know how do you conjugate the er verbs so if you do not know how do you conjugate the er verbs i am dropping the link in the card above just watch that video first and then come back here again but i am giving you a brief recap how do you conjugate the er verbs so first when you conjugate the pronominal verbs just remove sir for a moment just think that it is the normal verb which is kushe okay so you have written all your subjects you have to conjugate the verb kushe and not sir kushe for the moment it's an er verb what is the general rule that you cut er so if you cut er you are left with the radical the radical c o u c h so which you will write in all the cases so c o u c h which you will write in all the cases because it is the radical le radical alors là vous allez ajouter les terminaisons terminaison e o s e o n s e z o n t couche 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 couchon couché et couche d'accord okay now since it is a pronominal verb there are certain additions that you need to do okay these are known as pronouns which you need to add in between je m kush so if it is a pronominal verb you have to always add these things which i have written with red marker in between the subject and the verb alors je m kush tu te kush il elle on se kush nous nous couchons vous vous couchez il elle se couche alors je me tu te il elle on se nous nous vous vous il elle se alors je me couche tu te couches il elle on se couche nous nous couchons vous vous couchez il elle se couche and the meaning is je me couche i lie down tu te couches you lie down il se couche he lies down nous nous couchons we lie down vous vous couchez you lie down il se couche they lie down now the second verb that i've written is the verb se réveiller se réveiller which means to wake up again you'll divide your table into two parts singulier et pluriel là vous allez écrire je tu il elle on nous vous il pluriel et elle pluriel again i would say that consider it as a normal verb as in the verb réveiller okay so what you will do you will remove er then whatever is left is your radical you will write in all the cases along with the terminaison e e s e o n s o z o n t that is like normal er verbs okay and then you will add the pronouns that you have to add in the middle alors je me réveille tu te réveilles il elle on se réveille nous nous réveillons vous vous réveillez il elle se réveille which means je me réveille i wake up tu te réveilles you wake up il se réveille he wakes up elle se réveille she wakes up on se réveille one wakes up or we wake up nous nous réveillons we wake up vous vous réveillez you wake up il se réveille they wake up and elle se réveille elle se réveille which means they wake up femina pluriel now the third verb that i've written is the verb s'appeler sapele which means to call oneself you must have also studied the verb apele apele means to call and sapele means to call oneself like i was telling you that all the pronominal verbs they can exist as standalone verbs as well but that we are going to figure out when do you use the pronominal version of the verb and when do you use the normal verb okay now sapele which means to call oneself again you will divide your table into two parts singulier et pluriel et là vous allez écrire les sujets je 
tu, ils, elles, ont, nous, vous, il pluriel et elle pluriel. Now, just treat it as a normal verb, treat it as the verb appelé. For the moment, forget that it is the verb s'appelé, treat it as appelé. What is the normal rule to, uh, to conjugate the verb appelé? It is an ER verb. So the radical that you have is A P P E L. A P P O L. Now, A double P E L. But now, do you realize that here I have written double L? It is the case with this verb that this L changes into double L in all the subjects except nu and vu so in nu and vu you will write single l but in all other cases you will write double l voilà alors je deux l tu deux l il elle on deux l il elle pluriel deux l mais avec nous et vous vous avez un l d'accord and then you're going to add the Endings. Vous allez ajouter les terminaisons. E, ES, E, ONS, OZ, ONT. Okay, now, since this verb begins with a vowel, so what happens? M, T, and S, they change into M apostrophe, T apostrophe, et S apostrophe. Voilà. Alors, je m'appelle, tu t'appelles, il est long, s'appelle, M apostrophe, T apostrophe, S apostrophe. Nous nous appelons, vous vous appelez, il elle s'appelle, S apostrophe. D'accord Je m'appelle, tu t'appelles, il elle on s'appelle, nous nous appelons, vous vous appelez. Il, elle, s'appelle. D'accord? Je m'appelle, which means I call myself. Tu t'appelles, you call yourself. Il, elle, on s'appelle, he calls her, himself or she calls herself. Now, does that remind you of something? Whenever you say your name, you always say, je m'appelle Suchita. Je m'appelle So, je m'appelle means I call myself. It literally doesn't mean my name is Suchita. It means I call myself Suchita. You must have also studied comment tu t'appelles. Comment tu t'appelles doesn't mean what is your name. It actually means how do you call yourself. Comment vous appelez-vous? Why there are two vous there? Because it is a pronominal verb. Doesn't mean what is your name. It actually means how do you call yourself. Okay, now we'll learn how do you negate the pronominal verbs? How do you write the negation of the pronominal verbs? All right, so here I've written few examples and along with their negations. Par exemple, je me couche. So what is the exact rule? You treat me and couche together as a verb. So you put ne before and pa after. So me couche has to be actually sandwiched between ne and pa. Alors, je me couche, je ne me couche pas. I lie down, I don't lie down. Je me couche, je ne me couche pas. Tu t'habilles, you dress up. Tu ne t'habilles pas, you don't dress up. Tu t'habilles, tu ne t'habilles pas. Again, t'habilles has to be there in between. Il se réveille, he wakes up. Il ne se réveille pas. Il ne se réveille pas. He doesn't wake up. Vous, vous lavez. You wash yourself. Vous ne vous lavez pas. So again, vous and lavez, they are in between ne and pas. Voilà. Je ne me couche pas. Tu ne t'habilles pas. Il ne se réveille pas. Et vous ne vous lavez 